How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the Acer Nitro 5 2022 laptop, as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 16 degrees Celsius in just six easy steps. Step one, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before disassembling the computer, it's strongly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Prepare a PH1 screwdriver and remove all 11 screws from the back cover. To open the case, prepare a triangle pry tool and pry bar. Stand the notebook up and aim at the screen hinge area of the case, insert the triangle pry tool into the seam, and slide along the sides to open it. Then use the pry bar to separate the screen hinge area from the bottom case, and use the triangle pry tool to open the seam along the side. Do the same on another corner, sliding along the body to open the clips. Avoid using brute force to prevent damage to the case. After opening the bottom cover, prepare two pry bars to remove the power cable. Slowly unplug the power supply with two pry bars. After unplugging the power, hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Use the pry bars to remove the right fan connector and the screen ribbon cable next to it. On the left side fan, use the pry bar in the same way to unplug the connector. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. For the fans, use a PH0 screwdriver to remove four screws, two on each side. Then move to the middle heatsink, loosen seven screws diagonally in the order labeled on the heatsink. When removing screws, choose a high-quality screwdriver like the Cooling Monster Combo E01. When screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane and apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Next, clean off the dried thermal paste from the heat sink. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. We use thermal paste cleaning wipes to clean the capacitors and memory die, being careful not to damage the small capacitors during cleaning. Clean the CPU and GPU in the same way. Finally, wipe all the residual thermal paste off the heat sink. Step 4. Clean the fan. Use a brush to clean dust from the fan and heat sink fins. Use a PH0000 screwdriver to remove four screws from each fan, then you can open the fan. Clean the dust on the fan blades with a brush, and you can also use compressed air to clean the details. Remember to keep a distance to avoid liquid spraying out. 
After cleaning the fan, remember to put the fan screws back in. Also, don't forget to clean the case and the heat sink, as these areas gather dust easily. Step 5. Apply Thermal Paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold to 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-Size method if you like. Step 6, reassemble your laptop. Reinstall the fan and heat sink in the same order. Use a PH0 screwdriver to screw back the four fan screws. Then install the heat sink by the order of the numbers on it. We suggest to tighten the 7 screws to 60 to 70% first, then tighten them in order after they're all in to avoid excessive stress. Install the right fan power cable and the screen ribbon cable. And then reinstall the left fan's power cable. Finally, install the power supply and check if it can boot up. Put back the case, snap the clips, and screw back all 11 screws. Install the cover at the hinge, and you're done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.